Hey guys, we had a request the other day for a video on how to do the cleanup after a painting. So as you can see, we've just created a painting here. Mordor over here on the side, we've got tons of this extra paint. And uh, you know, we wanna see how we can get our palette clean again. So starting with the brushes, I just use a little bit of liquid paint thinner. And then our smaller brushes, just wipe them off with a paper towel. That really seems to do the trick. Just kind of spin it. And that's it with our bigger brushes here. I have a bucket that's got a, a golf ball basket at the bottom of it. And you basically just beat the devil out of it and it keeps all the spray inside the bucket. You can tell how nasty it is. It's disgusting. But it's my old trusty bucket. So just kind of beat the devil out of it till it's clean. Wipe it on a paper towel. Dab it. Till it's nice and soft. You can even feel there's still wet on there. So you just go back and beat it dab it until it's dry. Don't want to put them away wet. Go like this, flip it over. And just kind of beat it until it's dry. Just like that. Put it back there. Palette knife we're gonna use. Keep that to the side. Got the one inch brush here. And we're just gonna beat the devil out of it like Bob does, but we're not gonna spray it all over our clean house right back and forth until it's nice and dry. Again, just dab it on a paper towel. Make sure that you got every little bit out of there. We've done that one. Fan brushes, you can do the same or you can dab them on a paper towel up to you. Already cleaned that one. Filbert brush. Just again, right on our little golf ball basket down there. Wipe it down. Last little liner brush again, we can just take and wipe clean. So, when you paint like me, you make a mess for sure. Let's see, okay, so what we'll do is, I'm not gonna use this, I've got a whole ton of paint. Uh, if you're trying to save it, I'm sure there are videos around that'll show you how to save it, but I'm not trying to save any of this. So we're literally just gonna take it, scrape it off. Don't have to get everything. Wipe it off, scrape everything away. Wipe our palette knife off, maybe a little bit of paint thinner. Get it nice and clean, wipe that off. Now grab five or six paper towels. Fold it over. Fold it again and fold it again. All right, so just like this. And that's only because I've got a cup about this size where my paint thinner is. Dip it into our thinner. Wipe our palette. All right, you can take it now, flip it inside out, whatever you want to do. Wipe it again. Roll it inside out again. Why not? Use the same thing. Maybe dip it one more time. It works easier if it's down on the ground or on a table instead of kind of holding it like this. All right, now it's mainly clean. Throw that one away. Grab some dry ones. And just dry it off. Bam, got a fresh, brand new palette again, ready to use for the next time. You can see if you leave it for a day or two, two or three or four days, it's very hard to get all this stuff off without scratching the crap out of it or sanding it down. So what I do is instead of, this is how you normally would hold this, right? When I start, I always flip it over and use the backside because I know myself, eventually I'm gonna leave it, I've gotta go to work or I've gotta run off and do something and I come back and the paint's all hard. So you can use both sides, you can still hold it. You know what I mean? It's not exactly the same, but figure it out. And that way you've got two of these that you can use and I always start with the back because I knew <laughs> I know this is going to happen and then I've got a clean one for the front so well that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video check out my other videos I have one uh, how to prime your canvas with liquid white so you can get started on a painting and I've got a ton of videos with just you know paintings like this on black canvases white canvases all different sizes and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later